I want to say thank you for taking the time to purchase this course today. My name is Henry Kakula Jr. I am a award-winning entrepreneur that has also been named one of the top 16 social entrepreneurs in 2018 in the United States. The great thing about this course is going to help you be successful in doing what you love and raising money for your cause. Along with me, I am a nonprofit consultant that has done a lot of work with NFL players, major corporations, and have helped them successfully obtain funding. But today, you are going to be learning how you can obtain Walmart grants, which is going to be very, very easy to do if you follow the steps in this video. But least but not last, please leave a review on our Facebook page and also on other platforms as well. And let us know how you are doing along with the process. We are here to help you be successful so you can make reach more lives and change the world and make the world a better place. Thank you once again for purchasing this course. For more help, more information, please visit www.keculah and subscribe to our newsletter to receive updates on things that will help you and your nonprofit organization. We're gonna go over this process so you can understand that it really does work. And first thing I wanna show you, it is going to be an example of what happens. So this is the actual check. As you can see, what happens when you receive a Walmart grant, the check will automatically be mailed to you and you will receive an email in the system letting you know that your check is on the way from Walmart. This is the name of one of my nonprofits I started called 4.0 Foundation. And as you log in, go to my email, we're gonna go to my email, have it at the top. And as you can see, this emails from Walmart, show transparency, shows congratulations, the Walmart grants team and facility, that's the store number, are pleased to inform you that the community grant application application number has been selected to receive a $1,000 grant. So when we applied for this grant at the store, the amount we had entered in the system was $1,500. And to let you know, sometimes you may put $2,000 in and they may grant you $500 based off of their budget and what they have. But at the end, I, re I was able to receive this email and seven days later, I received a check in the mail letting me know that, hey, I did, I was awarded this grant. And after that, I provided them a thank you letter. So here's the great thing about it is that you can apply to 20, if you wanna to apply to 20 different Walmart stores, you can do that. So you can go around applying to different Walmart locations. So let's get started and let's, get the journey for you to winning Walmart grants on the road. So first thing you wanna do, real simple process is go to, you can go to Walmart grants, type it in Google, and then what pops up first is local community grants, walmart.org. Now I am going to hit that site, loads, you can read directions and the amount you want to request is between $250 to $25,000. My suggestion is if you are new to doing this, I would try to be modest and keep it below $2,500 because they have a budget that will be exhausted and store managers are normally generous with their, they're very modest with their budget. They want to keep it until the rest of the year. So you have between this time frame and this time frame to apply, but try to do it, you know, before June because that's the time that is much easier to have that in place. And you cannot submit more than like 25 applications or receive more than 25 grants within one year. So that lets, lets you know off the bat, you can be awarded 25 grants from different locations. And most importantly, you need to be a 501c3 organization. If you are not a 501c3 organization, contact me and I can make that possible for you in less than 30 days. So now we scroll through the bottom, very easy, and we are going to hit submit 
a local community grant application. So what we are going to do, we are going to do the community grant program. Scroll down. Right here where it says community grant program. We're going to hit that. Boom. And as we hit that, we hit submit. Now, this is very important. Take your time doing this part. Does your organization and proposed program direct, um, directly benefit the communities within the service area of the facility to what you plan to apply? But to say yes, they want to make sure that you are not applying for grants in Dallas and doing projects in Miami. So next thing is they're going to look at Real simple, are you a 501c3 organization? You better say yes if you are. If you fall under the other categories, you can put those categories there. But majority applicants are 501c3. So now we move on. Are you applying for funding for any of the organizations listed below? If so, please select other organizations. Here, you're gonna say no. And you hit continue. So now we're going, we're grooving. Uh, do you plan to request less than $250 from an individual facility? You're going to say no. If you do say yes, the application will be denied. So you're going to say no. And then it's going to tell you, thank you for taking the time to complete the questionnaire. Based on your answer, it appears that your organization is eligible. So that's great. Now we can move on to the next step. Boom. Hit community grant application. And now you want to enter in, create your account. If you don't have one, you're going to say create your password and go create your password and get started. So let's move on. I'm going to go to login. And now I'm going to hit my organization with hit community 4.0 foundation. And now I hit the 4.0 foundation. I'm able to see that we are able to now look at the name of the organization. That's one. So you have the name. And if you are creating, adding an organization, what you want to do, click on here, add the organization. And for example, if you have more than one nonprofit or if you're helping people do this process, process you can put in their information, their name, and it's normally going to pop up. So the easiest way to do it is by putting in the name right here of the organization. What happens is when you put in the tax ID, it will populate. If the organization is registered in the system and hopefully it's registered in the system, it will populate. So let's pretend now that, okay, our organization populates and is good to go. And this is going to be based off of what's on your official determination determination letter and that's considered a 501c3 letter so the address you have on there now this is going to be the address where your check is going to be mailed to it as i showed you previously and what you want to do if you want to update sometimes people move if you want to update the information you can update it you will, you are going to put in a zip code for the amount the they're going to put in the zip code for the area that you are trying to apply for grants. So let's pretend that we put in the following zip code, enter that zip code in. We are going to look at some of these Walmarts right here. And if you see this right here, that means that that store doesn't have a budget available anymore. And that could be because it ran out of money or just didn't receive a budget. So what you are going to do, or you're going to hit start, and you can do Sam's and you can do Walmart stores, they're all together. You're going to have your contact information if you are the person applying. Your information, I have my email, my phone number, just in case. You never know. The store may want to call you. And you hit save. And you continue to apply. And you'll put what is the name, what is the program for which organization you're applying for. So every time nonprofit organizations, you should have a program under your nonprofit, you can make up any program name. Uh, for example, this program is called Invest in the Future and it focuses on providing college and career readiness field trips. So now I'm going to put in the amount that I want to request. It's going to be modest and put 1500. 
It's a funding. You better put no. If you put yes, it's going to be rejected. And which area are you trying to impact? Uh, we're going to focus on education. And now you're going to do an MOU. And you're going to put your name. Just a community agreement. If you want to read it, you can read it. It's up to you. It's not anything that's going to hurt you. So you can enter your title. My title is executive director. I can put that. Let's sit agree. And now we we'll hit submit. So I hit submit and boom, my application has been submitted. And now what happens next? I am going to receive an email to my account probably within the next five minutes with the ID and the store number for the grant I just applied for. And what I can do for my records, I enjoy uh, going to print. So I normally what I do, I go to print. And when I go to print, I go to, I go to open up in PDF. And the reason why I do this is because I want to save and print just in case and I save it under the name of the store so if the store is like 3584 I put you know grant and I put the, the day of the grant 2020 you know I hit save and then I normally save it in my Dropbox so I have that folder just in case I have to show this information to the store so what do I do now after this process? After I have applied for this grant, I probably want to make things a lot easier for me. So how do I make things a lot easier for me is I am going to go back and I'm going to mail, I'm probably gonna mail a letter first. And what's gonna be in that letter I'm going to put an envelope together that states to this address for this store. I'm going to put an ad. I'm going to put an envelope together, and the envelope is going to pretty much be directed to the store manager of that Walmart, and this is their address. I'm going to put on there. I'm going to put on the envelope, the address, and the name and my organization. I'm going to have an official envelope on that official envelope. I'm going to state exactly that I applied for a grant. I'm going to have a one-page flyer in there about what my organization does. And I would love to schedule a meeting with them to talk a little bit about my application I submitted. And then what I'm going to do is after five days of me mailing in this letter, I'm later going to go back into that store and I'm going to say, hey, I applied. I sent you a letter. And this is my budget plan for how I'm going to utilize that $1,500 and invest in the future. I'm going to use $500 for food. I'm going to use $500 for transportation. And I'm going to use $500 for supplies for the education program. And then that's it. And as you look, you will be done. And as you can see, you'll probably see an email that will pop up in about five minutes. And that's how you apply for a grant with Walmart. Stay consistent, continue to go to the store and try to schedule a meeting with the store manager. It could be difficult at some times. Some locations are easier than others. Sometimes if your organization is well known in the local area, you will not have to go in. I have had clients in different states that I have done this for they received approval and that approval came without me even going to, into the store so it just depends on how you want to do it but after you do apply if you are admitted or if they do provide you with a grant make sure to write them a thank you letter within 10 days to tell them thank you and let them know that you appreciate them and try to go back in the store and tell them thank you as well build that relationship with them so that's a little bit about how you apply for a grant with Walmart. But least but not last, feel free to visit our page.
our website at 40gpa.com. Leave us a review. And how do you leave a review? You can go on the far right hand side, hit the F, it'll take you to Facebook, and you can leave a review. So, thank you once again for purchasing this video. If you need additional help, additional services, we help with grant writing, we help with obtaining 501c3 statuses, we help with creating letters, whatever you need, website, everything, we do it for you. Thank you and good luck on winning your award. So I have just shown you in less than 20 minutes how to make $1,000, which is right here. This is $1,000 and all you have to do is follow this simple process and this will provide you with the money you need to help your organization and help your cause. And if you need more help getting more money, contact me today and I can schedule you with a free consultation so we can talk a little bit about how I can help you make more money for your organization. As you can see, last year I actually had the chance of winning some of the biggest grants in the United States that are very competitive. I won $25,000 from Cricket Wireless. I received um, $10,000 from Capital One. I received another grant from an organization for $1,000 and a lot of grants last year. So do not go through this with fear. If you need help doing this the right way, let me know and I can make that happen for you so your organization can get the money they need today to start growing. And that's the great thing about it is we are very transparent. So you see the results that we provide and we show you how to do things the right way. So don't miss out on it. Sign up today for a free consultation. And thank you for watching this video. And please leave us a review and follow and subscribe to our newsletter. Let's be great. Henry Kakula Jr.